guys, Varun here from Uniplu or the Apple Tutor and today I'm going to give you another cool tutorial and this one's going to be on how you can create a bootable USB or flash drive um, for Mac OS X Lion um, also a hard drive and uh, if you haven't seen my previous video on how to make a restore disk and if you guys want to know how to do that just click on this little thing I popped up right here uh, and just click on it I'll direct you to the video and um, this is going to be on how you can create it for a flash, USB, or hard drive. So let's just get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Disk Utility. Now once you've got that, you want to select your volume, your basic your thumb drive. So in this case, there's two here. I want to select the top one, which says 4.15 GB generic flash disk media. Okay. And uh, just to uh, give you guys a um, quick note, uh, this will only work if you have a thumb drive which is at least 4 gigabytes and if, you're, if it's like less than that then it wouldn't work since uh, Mac OS Online is around 3.5 gigs so just to uh, give you guys a quick note. Anyways, once you, go, uh, once you get that, go ahead and click on partition and you'll see something called volume scheme. You want to go ahead and click that and uh, select one partition and also make sure that your thumb drive has no important information because we're going to be erasing some of the data in there. Once we've got that, you want to name or whatever you want to name it. So I'm just going to type in uh, Mac OS X Lion. Or you can call it bootable uh, drive or anything like that. It's up to you. Once you've got that, you want to go ahead and click on Apply. And then you'll see something called, are you sure you want to partition the disk? And uh, partitioning this uh, disk will delete all the data on this disk. And since I don't have anything on it, just go ahead and click on partition. But make sure that you have no important information. And then go ahead and click on partition. Okay, so this has finished. And uh, you'll see just below your thumb drive, you'll see something called Mac OS X Lion. That's what I named it. And this is the part where uh, we need to go ahead and click on the install application. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, uh, you uh, you wouldn't know that uh, you have to have this install app, which uh, if you download it from the app store, you will get this app, and make sure you don't install it, of course. So once you have this app, you want to right click, you want to go to show package contents, you want to go ahead and click on contents, you want to go to shared support, and you'll see this install esd dot dmg, and that's basically what you want to drag in to your disk utility window, and just drag it below this line. Okay, and once it's dragged in, I don't, I don't have to drag it in right now since I already have it. But once it's dragged in, you'll see that it's right there. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to your Mac OS X Lion uh, thing you've just created. Go ahead and click on Restore. And you'll see something called Source and Destination. For the source, simply drag in your install ESD um, uh, DMG file we just got from your uh, Mac OS X Lion install app. Go ahead and drag that into source. And for your destination, just simply drag in the Mac OS X line uh, drive you just made. Drag that into destination. And once you've got that, just click on restore. It will ask you, are you sure you want to erase Mac OS X line and replace its uh, contents with uh, install esd.dmg, which is basically Mac OS X line, the installation. Um, just click on erase. And I, I don't need to do that right now since I've already um, you know, done it. And uh, just click on erase. And once you've done that, um, you you're pretty much done. Uh, from there, you can just hold the Option key and, and boot up, and simply select the drive, your USB drive, and uh, you can boot up Mac OS X Lion. So uh, that's pretty much the end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Definitely more tutorials coming up, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.